Tunisia is the birthplace of the Arab Spring, where protests and demands served as a catalyst for demonstrations in other countries across the region. That really sparked a popular revolution of people demanding their political and, and civil rights. So it must be up around this corner over here. My name is Sarah Johnson, and I'm an associate director of the Democracy Program at the Carter Center. How many stations? and the program manager for our election observation mission activities in Tunisia. It's a busy day for the press here in Tunisia as you cover the first presidential election since the revolution here. Clearly after decades of dictatorship, it's vital that the people come out and exercise their precious right to vote. Vive la Tunisie! This is my son. It is for the future of our uh, sons and daughters. It's uh, the only way to go forward to the uh, democratic uh, country and uh, freedom, uh, human rights. Uh, the only way we can get that by voting. These elections for president and the elections for parliament that took place in October are the first elections under the new constitution that was adopted in January of 2014. The Carter Center aims to conduct an impartial and non-biased assessment of the entire electoral process, from voter registration to the campaign period to the actual election day itself, and whether or not the results represent the genuine will of the people in a country. I congratulate the Tunisian people, the election administration, those who worked long hours at the polls, civil society and political parties for working together and ensuring that the election was held in a calm and peaceful atmosphere. Tunisia really is the beacon of hope within the Arab region. It's been successful in starting to build democratic institutions and, and really grow those institutions. I really do think that within the region, Tunisia provides a positive example for the other countries that it is possible to have a transition that is stable, that is nonviolent, and in which the people themselves can select their next leaders.